welcome back welcome back this is just going to be part a admin stuff that we have to do so after you finished after you think you finished every single thing for part a this is what we're going to have to do so let me go back to my folder let me close this one go back here and i'm going to go into my part a folder i've got my three documents there perfect so you must submit your files as pdfs so portable document format that's what that stands for uh, by now you should have three documents they, actually, they might be rtf they might be doc they might be doc x it doesn't really matter once you have your three documents that's fine you should have risk assessment security plan and management report so that's activities let me bring my pen up activity one activity two activity three so far so part a admin again you need to export each one as a pdf the pdfs are to be submitted to the examiner so you don't actually send the documents uh, the word documents or the rtf files you can leave them in there, there is, it's not detrimental if you do but they tell you what you need to do and here i show you or explain how to actually create your pdfs i'm going to show this in any case but let me just go through so naming your files the names you should use are on the exam paper they tell you exactly what you need so this is the information that will most likely be given to you on the day by the examiner by the invigilator who's in the room with you your center number is going to be that number that your school has which tells the exam board which which school it is your registration number or your exam number is going to be that number which tells the exam board which student you are don't worry too much about this this will be given to you it's not something you have to remember um, off the top of your head so we're going to create folder so let's assume my name is king boss ferguson which is not but that's fine my registration number is one two three nine eight seven and my center number is zero 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 one 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 i'm going to show you how i would create my folder using these details so this is what is this is actually given to you on the exam paper it tells you exactly what you need to do it says the center number comes first then underscore then registration number then underscore then your full surname so in my case it's going to be ferguson and then the first letter of my first name in my case i said king boss is my first name so that's going to be a k for king boss underscore u11a u11a simply means unit 11 part a that's the name of the folder now for me using these details i've given before king boss ferguson uh, registration number and center number what i'm going to want to do is create a folder with this exact name so i'm going to show you how to create that folder now so i'm going to go back to my folder here i've got all my three files in here my activity one two and three i'm simply going to right click on an empty blank space go down to new and go to folder Right, this is what it looks like on Windows 11. Most of your schools probably still has Windows 10, maybe Windows 7 even. So to see what that looks like, same process. Let me just go there, show more options. This is most likely what you guys will see. Very, very similar menu. So, I, so imagine this is you right-clicking. You go down to New, and it's still going to be where it says Folder. Now, mine is going to be my center number. So let me click there to rename that. Is 000111, I believe. It's going to be underscore my registration number 123987 underscore ferguson f-e-r-g-u-s-o-n underscore k and then underscore unit 11a so u11a that's going to be my folder that's the first thing i do let me go back to my powerpoint now now risk assessment export and just like before my name is king boss that's my registration number um i left off my center number but that's fine and it's going to be the same thing activity one underscore risk assessment underscore registration number underscore surname underscore first name or first letter of first name sorry but it's going to be the same thing and for me all you guys really have to think about changing is your registration number here and obviously your name here but the way that works is going to be activity one risk assessment underscore my number underscore my name dot pdf i'm going to go to my document so this is my document here. Um, I think it was risk assessment first. I think so. Let me just go to that one first. Uh, yes, that's activity one. Let's just say this document is entirely finished. I've done all the work I need to do. The way you do this to export as a PDF, quite a few ways to do it. This is the easiest way I found, I think. You go to file. You go to export. So again, let me close that. You open your document. Go to file at the very top left-hand corner click on it you go down to where it says export e-x-p-o-r-t 
you click on export and you make sure it's clicked on the one that says create pdf dash xps document some schools have an extra option here like mine did a while back but it doesn't really matter click on the first one there and then where it says create pdf dash xps you click on that as well it's going to ask you to browse where do you want to save this information for me it's going to be on desktop I have a unit 11 folder somewhere let me just find it so put yours wherever you just created that folder again put yours wherever you just created that folder unit 11 for me and i have past paper here 2018 yeah, part a and i believe it's in here i think that's where it is i'm going to go back to my document and now i know what i should name this as the first thing is going to be activity one underscore risk assessment so maybe I should copy this because it's going to take me a while. Activity 1, where it says file name, I click there. Activity 1, underscore, risk, A-S-S-E-S-S-M-E-N-T, underscore, uh, what was next again? My number, 123987. So click there again, 123987. And then, underscore, Ferguson, underscore, K, and that's it this is going to export as a pdf so when i click publish it exports it as a pdf and in some cases it automatically opens a document as well that's how you export as a pdf that's one option the other option is the same process but then you rename the file afterwards so i'm going to show that with the next one so let me just go back to my powerpoint here security plan same process nothing different my name is there already my registration number this is the instruction directly on the exam paper. I literally just copied this from the exam paper. Nothing new here. And this is what mine would actually be because obviously my name is Ferguson K and that's my number there. So let me go back to my folder. Let me close that word document, go back to my folder. And the second one was security plan. So I'm going to open security plan. I'm going to just export this. I'm not going to change any names right now. Just going to export. So same process. Go to file, go to export click create pdf stroke xps click on that one i'm just going to save this file so browse to desktop for me it's going to be unit 11 and then it's going to be past paper 2018 part a and in that folder there i'm just going to save it i'm just i'm just going to click publish now when i click publish it opens a document that's fine i'm going to go to the folder now physically so this is the folder here that's the security plan there this is the one i'm supposed to do but I can rename it from here as well. So I don't want you guys to worry. If you export it and you don't give it the right name, you can always rename it. So to rename it, you simply right click on the file itself. And again, for Windows 10, this is what you guys will see. I'm going to click on where it says rename and I'm just going to name it what I'm supposed to. Activity 2 underscore security plan uh, underscore my, what's this, my ID number, I think, or my registration number, 123987 underscore ferguson underscore k because this is already a pdf you do not need to type the pdf part at the end you don't need to it's fine press enter and that's it that's my activity two same process for activity three name registration number so on and so forth i'm just going to go back to my document and you know what i might as well show you guys the other way to do this as well so let me go back here it's a bit long-winded but it's just another way if you want to do it that way here's my word document opened fully finished again now the other way i found is go to file go to save as uh go down to this pc so you choose where you want it now from the drop down list here where it says word document docx you click on that and click on pdf here from the drop down list and you simply choose where you want to save this again so i'm going to change my folder from Oh, it's actually in the right place already, so I don't need to do anything. Perfect. So management report, I'm going to go back to my thing so I just know the name of the thing I should be saving it as. That's all I'm doing here. And in this case, it's going to be activity three management report. So I'm going to name that activity three. Activity three underscore. I'm just going to name this management report. I can only take these names away because it's easier for me. Management report underscore. And I'm going to go back and it's going to be 123987 for me. Make sure you put your number in. 123987 underscore. It's going to be my name. So for me again, Ferguson underscore K. And because I've already selected .pdf or PDF here, I don't need to do anything else. 
that's it click save and again you have your pdf now i'm going to go back to that folder again let me minimize all of this let me close this i'm going to go back to that folder and when i go in here i've only got my two files where did i put that one? Oh, here it is i saved it in the wrong one so make sure to move your folder in your file into that folder what you can do you can simply drag click your mouse hold it down drag the file around and drop it let go of the file when you have the folder highlighted that's one way to do it or you can copy and paste it it doesn't really matter and in here i've got activity one activity two activity three named the way it should be named and that's really it for part a there's not really anything else i think i need to go over hopefully that was useful hopefully that was um sensible enough for you to understand and good luck with your part a